Trail Travelers. We are just outside of Breckenridge, Colorado, and we're getting ready to hit Wheeler Lake. Now, I've never been here before. It's supposed to be pretty cool, kind of rocky, and ends at a really nice lake. And we have got a pretty good sized group with us today. About uh, 10 or 12 vehicles here. Should be fun. So let's get on the road. We're all aired down. We're ready to hit the trail. Okay, so we come to the first turn here and we do have a little bit of an obstacle here. Nothing too crazy, kind of fun. Just kind of like a little mini rock ledge. All right, we're gonna go past the mine here and this is really cool. And as we make the turn, we're gonna run into a nice little obstacle. And you don't see anybody in front of me right now because I helped everyone get over the obstacle. So we should do really well coming right up this. All right, we got everybody else up the obstacle. Now it's our turn. Look at this thing, kind of a cool little path. Uh, I really thought about going up that way, but. All right, now we're a half mile in. Some fun obstacles. Here's like an old, looks like a cement mixer up here. Nice big rocks. We've gone through about three or four water crossings so far. Nothing deep, you know, maybe, you know, two, three inches at the most so far. But so far we're having a good day. The weather's beautiful. It's like 55 degrees. I will say this trail is a little narrow. So if you are not a fan of Colorado pinstripes, then you might not uh, wanna go through here or you're gonna be buffing out your paint when you get home. But it is, uh, there are some narrow spots for sure. Uh, today we are going a little slow. We have a few people who have actually never been off-roading before at all. And someone who has a new Jeep, that is a stick shift. And that's always a challenge when you're going up big obstacles. So we're having a slow, uh, slow go at it, but we're still having a great time. Everyone's having fun. And uh, I can't wait to see what's ahead. Well, we're at eight tenths of a mile and we've come across another obstacle that seems to be slowing people down ahead of us. But we'll get up there, see what it's all about and uh, help everyone else get over it. So uh, stay there. Hopefully we have another fun obstacle coming up.
this right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through miles into the Wheeler Lake Trail. It has been, um, I would say, probably a little more challenging than I expected um, because I really didn't know what to expect coming out here. i would seen some videos and just kind of depending on the angles, things either looked kind of easy or they looked kind of hard. So I kind of expected they were going to be on the, we'll just call it moderate side. And it kind of has been it's i would say it's you know a little little over you know mid moderate we have managed to get everybody up every obstacle without having to use the winch so that's good and you know it's been a little challenging at times trying to find the right line but some pretty much stock saharas not rubicon so no lockers uh, no sway bar disconnect and some 35 inch tires have gone up all the obstacles. So that's going to keep me from saying that this is a hard trail, but it is, um, it's definitely a challenging one. And for someone who's brand new, I would not come out here by yourself, come out with someone who's either fairly experienced in off-roading or has at least, you know, preferably been on this trail before and kind of understands the lines. There are a few challenging spots, there's no doubt, but it's completely doable. If you look up ahead there, the silver Jeep that's in front of the dark gray one in front of us, that is pretty much bone stock other than um, a small lift and some 35 inch tires. And this is her very first time ever off-roading and she's made it up every obstacle. Granted, well, you know, we've had to spot for her and make sure she came up the right lines. And she got a little weirded out a few times on some of the angles, but no problem. You know, she's doing a great job and you can too if you're new to it. But like I said, you don't want to come out here alone. Uh, you can definitely get into yourself into some trouble if you're by yourself and you pick the wrong line. You can easily get stuck. You can get scratched. You can even probably... Uh, tip over uh, sideways if you pick the wrong line here and as I mentioned before it is very narrow you will have scratches uh, there there's no way around it they're not going to be bad because they're mostly uh, these pine trees and it will look really bad but it'll buff out real easy you want to try and stay away from those bushy looking ones because those are actually a lot harder and will scratch up a they can go a little deeper basically now uh, we just had snow what's today sunday yes. thursday we had snow thursday. thursday so friday saturday sunday so three days ago it snowed up here and that's why there's a lot of water that you'll see on the trail and off to the side we just have these beautiful views of the mountains just kind of dusted with snow absolutely gorgeous so this is a, a great trail, no doubt, but it's, uh, I wouldn't call it easy. I would definitely go with moderate on this one so far. But high clearance, absolute four by four is a must. Recommended a decent lift, you know, two and a half, three inch lift, and at least 35 inch tires, and you won't have any problems. Uh, we did have one guy in a pretty much bone stock Sahara decide not to continue and he's riding with someone else right now but that's okay you know if you get to a point when you're new and you're not feeling confident you don't think you should do it don't do it don't push past your comfort level i mean at some point you will but you know it's when you're ready for it if at any point you just go i really don't think i should do that don't do it wait till you build the confidence in your vehicle and the confidence in your driving skill and then doing some of these things will come a lot easier but no reason to start off as a brand new driver in a brand new vehicle 
and go, hey, I, I, this just doesn't look like for me. No worries, there's no shame in that. It's like there's no shame in having to pull out your winch and use it. Uh, you know, it happens. I had to do it a couple weeks ago on myself. You know, it, it's all part of it. So enjoy the experience, enjoy the journey of learning how to drive and how to get comfortable with the different angles. So, all right, I'm gonna get back to the trail. We're at the 2.4 mile mark and we got a little hill here to get over. Not too bad, but looks like it's going to be fun. Huh? Ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he took different way. And you see it? Second jeep and second time already moving rocks. Yeah. Beautiful Wheeler Lake. It took, yeah, it was something. It took a while to get up here, but it was well worth it. We did have one person, the, the lady that was ahead of us, whose first time driving off road, she decided she just didn't want to go any further. It was really getting gnarly. It was the most difficult part was right there at the end. She decided to wait until we came up to the lake and turned around. It was only about a thousand feet behind us. So we're not going to dilly dally around here. We've got some pictures and we're going to head back reconnect uh, with them and uh, see how long it takes us to get out of here. So Wheeler Lake, definitely uh, a new favorite of mine. Really happy with it. I'm gonna come back here again. The views are amazing and the trail is a medium difficulty, I would say. Not too hard, but not too easy. I'd say you, you definitely want some decent tires and maybe a little lift. It'll definitely help, but it's really about picking the lines because there's some big rocks that you have to get your differential around. So if you come out here, check it out. Wheeler Lake Trail outside of Breckenridge. Thanks for watching everybody. This has been Carrie with Trail Traveler. I'll catch you again next time. Bye-bye.